Hey, it's the After Show. Thank you so much for supporting me, guys. Like, I got the freedom just to do what I want to do every week. I know what I'm doing every week, and this week, man, I'm looking at my G-Shock. Stay still. It really doesn't want to stay down, does it? Okay, hey, that's pretty good. So, uh, I jumped onto Apple Watches as soon as they came out. It was one of the first things I ever pre-ordered and actually, you know, got. And it was the best. Until I just got sick of every notification on my wrist going off it I mean depending on your lifestyle and just how busy your socials are and all that It's gonna be a different story uh, for me and this style of work and like all the apps that I use <laughs> nightmarish And like honestly in the end all I did was just shut everything off and just use it as a watch and like a very basic fitness tracker but even those notifications were getting annoying. Like, it's telling me to stop and breathe, like, while I'm playing the drums on a drum stream. It's like, you are so clever, Siri. And Siri sucks. <laughs> she just chime in all the time, and I'd never ask for it. I wouldn't ask her to run a bath, let alone my calendars. And that's why I love these Casios, mate. Well, and why I've been wearing the Bradley. I'm so busy all the time, all I care about is how much time I've got left in the day. That's all I care about now. And so a watch like this is so good. You can rub it up against brick walls. You can get like caught on something. You can actually get dropped or crushed. Who cares, you get another one. <laughs> I did get this one. I'm, I've, I've talked about these watches in the past. I love the look of this one and the fact it's got like world time and all that, but this band is garbage. Um, it pinches at this point and actually cuts my skin, which is real bummer because that'd probably be the one that I'd rock all the time. But a while ago, I was literally stuck in the city waiting for an appointment and, um, I ended up walking into a watch place and I bought this <laughs> yellow looking G-Shock stinking Gatorade lemon lime looking thing. So I grabbed this because in a lot of ways, it really is just a basic old G-Shock. The design is actually based on like the first ever ones, which I love. I love the square, but it's got this new like pixel something crazy display and it's meant to use like nearly no electricity at all because it's like each bit has like an on off switch and so at the moment it's using no battery it's just showing like the screen as it was or something it just seems so much crisper than like these old school displays i know it's a bit different because i've got like these lights bearing down on this like this is a really well lit area but i'm telling you these new screens just look so neat and as you can see it does have fitness tracking and you can sync it to your smartphone via bluetooth with an app and I'm, I'm sorry, Casio, but you can stick your app up your sideways because, oh, how many more data leaks is everyone going to have to deal with nowadays? Apps aren't fun anymore. Smart devices aren't fun anymore. It's just beaming your data to the first big, fat, greedy who's going to sell it for whatever. So, yeah, just counting basic steps, that's enough for me. It just shows me that, oh, well, I exercise more one day than the other. Although you can see it has zero steps, you know, because I've been wearing the Bradley. What other modes are in here? Yeah, workout mode. I don't care. Stop watch. I don't care. I mean, activity and like distances and times and things. I, I don't care. <laughs> That's all pretty basic sporty kind of stuff, which I guess you'd expect from a G-Shock. It's got the backlight, which is actually a really good backlight. I know you can barely see it, but in the dark, it's really good. I mean, there is a downside. It's chonk. It is mega chunk, which is why I kind of keep going back to this one because it's just an watch. It keeps time. But as I said, it is really fun having like the step counter and whatnot. And I like how it looks. Like, it's ridiculous, but so am I. I won't lie. The UI is terrible. <laughs> like, I don't even know what any of this does. And every button to press, that does nothing. That just brings up list again. So if I go back and it just goes back again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my books help. As someone who's never had a G-Shock, like, yeah, the, the UI is literally miserable. I, w I wonder if the people who make these don't actually hand them the people who's never had a G-Shock and goes, okay, find all of its features, and when they immediately can't figure out anything. I, mean, I, I didn't even set the time. Like, it was set in the shop, and although, amazingly, it does do our daylight savings times, which is excellent. That's set to, you know, it's not... It's, that's an hour too fast. And that's kind of something that I really wanted. I wanted the old school Casio look, but with the modern screen and some modern stuff in the background, you know, again, like daylight savings. But I just wanted reliability. Like, 
Smartwatches are some of the least reliable things I've ever had to deal with. You get one or two days charge out of them just to have like harassment straight to your wrists. And now that they do payment stuff and whatnot, like they almost feel like a bit of a data leak. Although that said, what I did miss about the Apple Watch was when using Bluetooth headphones, which I don't really do really anymore, <laughs> which was it was cool as like a remote control for Spotify to your Bluetooth buds. That was the best use I ever got out of a smartwatch. But finally, I'm in that camp where I really do just want to know the time. I can now really appreciate people who get like a really crazy watch and it's like, well, they have no batteries at all. You wind them. That's it. And it just keeps time. End of story. Guess I'm turning into a businessman after all. Businessman of rubbish and fun like this game. Game, 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 game. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 I can't still... We we'll have to game another day. I've been enjoying the dumbening of my wristwatch situation so much that I'm this close to going back to a dumb phone and just not using smartphones anymore. <laughs> I'm turning into that person. <laughs> well, I blame the data leaks! So yeah, timepieces are fun and awesome and I can feel a new disease coming on where all I do is just buy watches now. Oh no. <laughs> Dang it, G-Shock, you're the only one who doesn't get the program for... He did it. He did it right at the end. There was room underneath for my book cell. So, cheese, mate. And, you know, give me, give me that. No, 